Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna teach you how to properly homebrew your 3DS. I'm really sorry, uh, I messed up on the first video. I left out an important file or files in order for homebrew to detect those files. So I'm gonna leave the links in the description when I, when I come here to smilum.jhub and once you click on the link, I'll direct you to this page. And we're gonna be using the Ocarina of Time hacks tutorial and you're gonna need a, a physical copy of ocarina of time 3d and we're gonna need power saves as well all right so come here homebrew starter kit we're gonna click save i mean i already have it so i'm not gonna download it and make sure you pop in your SD card to your computer from the 3DS. And here's my 3DS um, SD card. And I'm gonna go to my computer. I'm gonna hit downloads. And I'm gonna look for the starter file. So once you open up the starter file, you're gonna see these three files right here, 3DS, themes, and boot.3dsx. So we're gonna, we're gonna want to drag them to the SD card of the 3DS. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. All right. That's done right there. So close your close your windows. Uh, still leave your SD card on the computer because we're still going to keep going and we're still going to need it there. So open up your power saves and put, uh, put in your Ocarina of Time game and so you guys can see I'm using Ocarina of Time. We're gonna go hit back up and rename it to anything you want. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put I'm just gonna rename it to Little Link. I'm gonna hit OK. And here it is. Alright. Now let's go to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So we're going to want to click on here in Yellow's 8 Respiratory. And it's going to open up the page. We're going to want to come here to latest release. OT 3D Hacks Raw Save Images Hacks Payload 3116. So we're going to want to download it. And I'm not going to download it because I already have it. All right. So let's go to our downloads and here it is. As you can see, hack loads, pates, I mean hacks, payloads 3116. I'm gonna wanna open that when I wanna hit open images. And I'm gonna open this folder right here. Remember guys, this is for the old 3DS. I'm using the old 3DS method. The old 3DS and the old 3DS Excel, not the new one. The new one, you can still use it. I'll show you guys how to do it right now. And I'm gonna open up USA. And now we're gonna wanna go to our computer. Go to the local C drive. Click users. Uh, whatever you renamed your computer, I renamed it mine to Eric. And then we're gonna wanna go to here to Power Saves 3DS. We're gonna wanna open it. All right. For the USA old 3DS Excel and the old 3DS, we're gonna want to use the Post 5U25600 USA. So we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it here on the on the Power Saves folder. So there it is. And if you're using the new 3DS, yeah. you're gonna wanna use this one right here. New uh, N3 3DS U25600. It's the same thing, just it's named differently. So you're gonna wanna right click and then copy of course and paste it there. So whatever region you're from for your 3DS, that's what you're gonna use. All right? So now we're gonna wanna come back to the th power saves and this 
file that we copied over here to the power saves, we're gonna want to rename it. Uh, rename it to anything you want. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm just gonna put doggy. All right. So here it is. And now this file that you backed up on the power saves, you're gonna wanna look for it. And I named it little link. So I'm gonna look for it. Crap. Okay. Here it is. So click on it. And then you're gonna wanna right click. You're gonna wanna hit copy. And then now since it's copied, just rename it to anything. I'll put laugh out loud, okay, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Doesn't matter where you rename it to. Now that file that I renamed to doggy, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna hit paste. So there you go. Once you hit paste, that's it. All right, close it. Close it. And then pop in your SD card back to your 3DS. All right, now go back to your power saves. And then that file that we backed up, so I made a little link. We're gonna wanna hit restore. And then once I hit restore, it's gonna change to this to this um, file name. So I'm gonna click restore. Yes. You saw that? Little link is gone. Now it's replaced with post 5U25600. All right, I'm gonna wanna close that now. And now pop in your Ocarina of Time to the 3DS. All right, open it. Now you're gonna see this weird file name, hex, with all the little stars on top. We're gonna wanna open it, hit start. And once it loads, press A. And you're gonna see this crazy magic happening. There you go, you have homebrew guys. That's it, that's easy. So fucking easy. Sorry for the language, but yes, that's it. All right, so let's come. All right, so I did this for the old 3DS, and you guys already know how to do it on the, three, on the new 3DS. It's gonna be for every same region. So let's see. Let's go back to my downloads. And uh, all right, on the if that didn't work for you guys, I mean, I use this one right here, right? So click on this one and then go to USA, whatever region you're from. And here it is again, post five, U25, 5600. You're gonna wanna use that one. And if you're on the new 3DS, you're gonna wanna use this one right here. The new, the N3DS U25600, that's for the new one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you, if you wanna find your, your raw pin, you're gonna wanna go right here so you guys know which file you're gonna use. For instance, let's go with the old 3DS, all right? So update 10.6.0.31. And let's select a different region. I'm gonna go with Europe now. I'm just gonna click here, download raw pin. I'm not gonna save it to my computer, but you can see right here. Post 5E24576. So this is a Europe version. Go back. And here it is. You can see 24576. This is gonna be for the old 3DS. And for the new 3DS, if you have it, you're gonna use this one right here. All right, you guys saw that one? That's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing else to it. And for Japan, so U stands for USA, E stands for 
Europe. J stands for Japan. So I'm going to click download raw pin. Again, I'm not going to save it. So let's come back over here. So the file is post 5J24576. All right, let's go to Japan. And for the old 3DS, you can see the matching numbers right here. You're going to want to use this one. And for the new 3DS, you're going to want to use this one if you're using the new 3DS. That's it. That's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing else to it. And yeah, if you guys need any help, let me know. And I'll help you guys out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And hopefully that was helpful. And since you have homebrew now, you could... um. Pretty much play out of region games. So if you're in, if I'm in USA, I could play games from Europe or Japan. Doesn't matter. And you could randomize your game. Uh, just go on YouTube and go how to randomize games. How to randomize Pokemon. And it's gonna show you how to do it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So you guys could see that I have my game randomized. Which is gonna go to okay. where is it? I'm gonna go right here to hunt. Open up. And you're gonna see all this magic happening. I mean, once you get homebrew, you're not going to have randomizer if you're, you're going to have to do it manually. So that's a part. So we're going to come in on here so you guys can see my game is randomized. You can see, I have Dark Rai, Blissey, uh, for Alligator, Kingler, uh, Reggie Rock, I mean Reggie Steel. Yeah, that's it. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and way better than the first one. And yeah, so hopefully you guys can make this work and have a good one and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you guys want to support this youtube channel hit the subscribe button if you like the video hit the like button and once again thanks for watching and la county 818